Right, so we've come down over, th so we're actually just behind the pizza hut, pizza uh, oven. You can see there the sheep have been on here, so it's a little bit messy. Um, and I haven't mowed this bit because there's um, been docks on it that I've sprayed. If I look down there, you'll see there's quite a lot I missed. So I think I'll probably end up mowing it. But you can see the big tree there. That's the one that fell over. You can see the roots sticking up well, where the tree has heaved itself up. Nothing in the way of leaves at all on that tree. So it's definitely died. And we're going to use that for a bit of bushcraft. You can see in the foreground a bit of uh, structure there that we built for bushcraft. And we've got these new poles down here that we're going to replace. Um, but we were thinking about moving it <coughs> over into this area in here, which is over between the conservation area and uh, and where the chickens used to be. Anyway, I'm going to walk you into the uh, orchard now, just have a little bit of a walk through. It's a nice sunny day today, don't know what you're doing. I've come in a bit late, so I'm walking under the shelter, a bit pooey through the kissing gates, through there if I can. Nothing moved really on the uh, on the shelter, so it's still as it was, still haven't been able to get the uh, tin for the roof or for the sides. There's actually two yearlings in here at the moment. Pears, that'll be nice to eat when we get to them. Nettles, more nettles. These ones I'll probably spray off, probably you can just about see, I don't know whether you can in the distance, the two yearlings, they were sheared. Um, they're the only sheep that we have sheared. Bonfire site. Hopefully get a big bonfire going there. Cherries on the tree that's still sort of dying, but you can actually see there's quite a lot of cherries. Now these ones I've put for sale, not to keep. And that's because, with your permission sort of thing obviously, we're um, reducing to three ewes. So rightly or wrongly, that's what we're doing. I don't know if you can see them there. Hopefully, they're just underneath there. They're nice ewes. So, interesting tree here. We've got a little bit of it in blossom and a little bit in leaf. That's always, it's, a, it's obviously got a, a branch that's coming out below the grafting point or something and we've allowed it to grow. So most of the trees, I'll pan round, this is the big trees, I can't go too far because the sun's on that one. They've got um, quite a, they've had quite a lot of blossoms so we should have quite a few apples. I'm hoping you'll all be back to help doing that. Just walking under a nice bit of shade. Ooh, that's nice. Right, right down the bottom now, you can see this tree. This is a um, very interesting tree. That's the one I was just looking at. Not the one with the two blossoms, but you can see how it's hollow in the middle. But still very much alive. Very much producing lots of leaf and growth. Um, that's a very interesting thing about trees, really. There's a little nest box. Don't know if anything's in there. Have a look. Too close. Gone out of focus. Still walking along in the shade, it's really nice. Nice bit of bird song in the distance. Oh, we're walking into the sun a little bit now, so I'll try and keep this down. There's another tree where the branch is broken. And something, woodpecker probably, has started to make a hole up there. You can just about see that. Yeah. Anyway, I'll stop this for a minute.